We would run a scheme called Buddy Up in the nursery school and the children are paired at the start of the year with someone who maybe has the same type of interests, a similar personality type. So the children will then see their buddy on a regular basis throughout the year. And then on each play day, we would have activities to help to really build those relationships. So the children would have circle time together. They have art activities that would encourage, for example, they were painting portraits of each other. So they were looking at their buddy. My buddy has green eyes or blonde hair, things like that. And they play with things together. They look after each other whenever they're in each other's schools. So the, so the children then are benefiting with relationships. They just love their buddies, they love going to each other's schools, they love going out and about in, a, in the community and they are so fresh and excited about it each time. We would have a very active parent programme. The parents are surveyed at the beginning of the year asking them, this is in both of the schools, what they are interested in. Uh, for example, one of the popular things would be driving theory. So a lot of the parents then will come together through the year and enjoy workshops and courses together. We, this is very busy. There would be something happening every day of the week between the two schools and the parents then, they develop relationships and make friends that I can see from the years of the programme happening that uh, very long lasting friendships. I would see parents going from one another's communities to support families. For example, if there's been a tragedy um, and there's a funeral or anything like that, uh, it would not be unheard of that um, a representation of parents from either school would support the others. The parents are the first and most important educators of the children. They're the biggest influencers. If the child sees that their parent is happy, going into a completely different area, um, feeling safe and secure, the child will enjoy the experience and get even more out of it. So letting the, the parents be part of the programme and actively encouraging them to do so is a huge win in terms of the, the development and the benefits of shared education. It's really about opening up people's minds to, and eyes really to others, to meet people that they would maybe not have had the opportunity to ever meet and to see life from a different point of view, um, to see there's so many um, similarities between people and they have so much in common. I've seen over the years, it's been over 20 years now that we've been doing this work, we take so much of it for granted that we think it's normal now, but really I would still call myself back to the days when it started and realise how far we have come, how friendly people can be in the two communities, the greater amount of contact, uh, things that would have been unheard of in the early days now becoming normal, um, commonplace. I can see a change in our local community in that there is more of a willingness to allow uh, people to come in. Uh, when I first started working in Shankill nearly 30 years ago, it was a very closed-in community. There would have been no crossover between um, areas that were really just so close by. Then, gradually over the last 20 years, you know, we've been working with Holy Cross and, you know, there have been times when we've been able to walk to one another's schools. And while there could have been a bit of nervousness about that in the early years, uh, because of uniforms denoting the school and things and maybe identifying you with a particular community. That has become now much more normal and I keep talking about this normal uh, aspect of the work because it's so embedded now in our schools and communities that it has become more acceptable. I feel that the school is now much more part of the local community. We're more family focused. Uh, it, there's a lovely collegiality about our um, school communities whenever the parents are together for example and the children you can just sense the friendship and the the family atmosphere uh, nurture is the most important thing in everything that we can do in education uh, because without that really the potential is hampered so to get that in the early stages of nursery and the foundation for schooling is just so vital.